While major cities may feel like concrete jungles, here in College Green, we're in the heart of Penn's campus in Philadelphia. There's no concrete here, just stone, bricks, trees, and grass. It wasn't always this beautiful. Trolley cars and buses and everything went right through here until the mid-1950s. Then College Green changed. By 1970-75, we had actually a master plan that said, let's make College Green the heart of campus. So what we see here today is granite curbs and brick walks and, and uh, stone paving, certain benches and light fixtures and things that was designed to be a contiguous kind of palette of materials. At Penn, green spaces include large parks, small gardens, and green walkways connecting them. The Locust Walk starts at 40th Street and goes all the way down to Penn Park. There are four or five major greens off that walkway. Uh, and many little gardens. Penn Park, 24 acres of green space, opened in September 2011. Then came Shoemaker Green in September 2012. Originally this was tennis courts that became kind of outdated and um, needed renovations. And part of our overall program at Penn is to provide pedestrian spaces like College Green, 40th Street Field, Locust Walk and Shoemaker Green here. In June 2013, Kane Park opened. This is a great little site for lunching during the day. It has pervious paving and it has native species across in the landscaping. These are ornamental grasses that we plant across campus. There's lots of grasses from panicums to sedges and what they are is native to the region and they will spread out and multiply over time. And we can't forget what is often referred to as the biopond. Right now, it's kind of the wild side of Penn. It's under biology. And we really strive to keep it kind of uh, a little more wild, a little more naturalistic. It's used partially as a teaching garden. So there's many different species of trees here and ferns and uh, perennials and ground covers here that they use in many of their classes. 